you may have seen that Instagram is changing the profile grid from being square to looking like this instead. Yes, more and more creators have seen their profiles shift from the beloved square grid to now a four by five ratio. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not too happy about it. As a designer and brand strategist who's curated clean aesthetic, square perfect feeds for over 500 customers, clients and myself, I'm feeling this update pretty damn hard. Did my design OCD sign up for this? Absolutely not. So Instagram, why are you doing this to us? Like, why fix what wasn't broken? Anyways, let's cut to the chase. When you're creating your Instagram content, you want everything within the safe zone so that your images aren't getting cut off. And to help you do that, I've created an Instagram sizing guide in Canva, which I'll tell you more about later in this video. So if your grid's looking chaotic, don't panic. In this video, I'm gonna give you some layout tips and design hacks to help you stay on brand without costing you too much time. For many of us on Instagram, squares are officially out and the new 4x5 grid looks like it's here to stay. So I get it if you're not too happy about this change because some of your content may look cropped, uneven or just plain messy and you're not alone. I've had countless of customers and clients ask me about this update which is why I've decided to make this video. So if you're wondering what update, here's a recap. In early 2025, Instagram began rolling out a new profile grid format, shifting from the traditional square to a taller 4x5 aspect ratio, which is 1080 by 1350 pixels. This change was aimed to better showcase vertical content, aligning with the platform's emphasis on immersive visuals. But please note that this rollout has been gradual. That means that some accounts may still display the classic square grid, while others are already displaying the new 4x5 ratio grid. As you can see on your screen, I still have old accounts that are showing the squares. Don't ask me how they're doing it, whether it's based on countries or smartphone types, I don't know. Now I've been seeing creators everywhere literally begging Instagram to bring back the squares. But from what I'm seeing, this looks pretty permanent for now because I haven't seen or heard anything from Instagram about making moves to reverse this four by five change. And let's be honest, it's probably their way of trying to compete with TikTok yet again. Boring. So here's the deal. We can either cry about it or we can get strategic. If 4x5 is the new normal, I know I'm rethinking how I show up on Instagram because the vibe I'm going for is still luxe, scroll stopping and dripping in gold for my audience. Only now it's going to be vertical. If you want your content to stay intentional and elevated, it's time to start designing for the new layout. You can start by rethinking how your posts stack, making sure your top three rows still tell a visual story and resizing your graphics in Canva without ruining your vibe. I'm already mapping out mine and my client's new four x five feed layout with this in mind. I know it's annoying, but if we can't control the platform, remember we can still control how we show up on it, right? Now, the good thing about this change is that these taller posts occupy more screen real estate. From a design perspective, this is great for making your content more eye-catching and engaging. But the bad thing is that adapting to this new format is painful because so many of us creators have already put in so much time, energy, and money into carefully curating an aesthetically gorgeous grid. Now we have to recreate our new content to this new 4x5 ratio just to make sure that our posts remain aesthetically pleasing and aligned with Instagram's evolving design. So here's how to resize your posts to 4x5 in Canva, which is my favorite design tool. Number one, you can use Canva's resize tool. With Canva Pro, simply use the resize tool to adjust your design to 1080 by 1350 pixels. 
It's quick and maintains your design elements effortlessly. But most likely, you'll still need to tweak your designs because some things just won't be perfect. Now, this is a pro feature. So if you don't have a pro account, no problem. This takes me to point number two, design in 4x5 from scratch. If you haven't already batch created content for the upcoming weeks or months, then you can start from scratch in Canva. Just set up your new 4x5 template in Canva, which you can start using by searching for it. You can also use my Instagram sizing guide with the safe zone grid to make sure you're designing within the safe zone so nothing gets cut off. I'll add the link in the description below. This is going to save you time and it will help you be consistent across your content on the gram. Number three is manually copy and paste in Canva. Now, the good news is, is that you can do this in a Canva free account. Again, you'll need to create a new design, which is 1080 by 1350 dimensions, which is the four by five ratio, and you'll manually copy your elements over adjust as needed to fit the new layout. Remember, the design is not gonna be perfect, so you will need to tweak it as you go. Now, it's also important to remember that Instagram will crop the sides by an additional 32.5 pixels, which means you'll need to design within the safe zone, which is actually 1015 by 1350 pixels. And if you just can't be bothered even thinking about any of this right now, and you just want a quick and easy solution just for now, number four is iPhone's native resize function. Then you can use an iPhone, although I heard through the grapevine that you can also do this on Android. All you have to do is hold down on the post that you want to resize. Select Adjust Preview. Here you can select either Fit or Fill. You can also select if you want a white or black background. And then you'll see it as a square again on your feed. But this is not a perfect solution. It's just a quick fix. And then lastly, you can actually resize in Instagram, but don't get too excited. It's the same thing as using your phone. You can do this quick fix also in Instagram by selecting the post that you want to resize and then click on the three dots on the top right corner. Again, select adjust preview, select fit or fill, and select a white or black background. There's no other colors available for right now. So black or white, it is. So there you have it. Now, even though many of us are hoping for the square grid to make a comeback, it's important to adapt to Instagram's new 4x5 grid format to maintain a cohesive and engaging profile. As a digital creator, I've started to make Canva templates for the new 4x5 aspect ratio while keeping the squares just in case because you never know. By resizing your content thoughtfully, you as a business owner, social marketer, and content creator can make sure that your brand stays visually compelling. If you want to purchase my templates, head over to Social Mogul, which I'll link in the description. And remember, if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more on visual branding and comment the word grid. If you want me to send you my Instagram sizing templates. And if you want to take this even further, watch my Canva tutorial to help you master Canva in 27 minutes. I'll also link these in the description below and I'll see you in the next video.